Hi, welcome to the video install Apache NetBeans 24 with Java 23 on Windows. I am Nam Haming at Code in Java.net. In this video, I'd love to help you get started with Java programming on Windows computer by uh, follow the steps to download and install Java development kit with Oracle JDK version 23. You can skip this step if you already have a JDK installed on your computer because the installer can detect available JDKs automatically. And then download and install Apache NetBeans IDE version 24 as of February 2025. And it's recommended to verify the integrity of the downloaded file first. And finally, I will show you how to create and run your first Java project, a kind of Hello World program. So what is NetBeans IDE? You know, NetBeans is the free open source IDE for Java development since 1997. It is one of the most uh, popular Java IDEs widely used by Java programmers around the world. It was developed by Sun Microsystems from 1999 to 2009 and developed by Oracle from 2010 to 2015 and from 2016 until now. Apache NetBeans IDE is being developed by the Apache Software Foundation from the version 9 and newer. And the official homepage of Apache NetBeans IDE is netbeans.apache.org. Okay, so the first step is to download and install Java Development Kit or JDK because a NetBeans IDE requires JDK to run. So open the web browser and head over to the website oracle.com slash java slash technologies slash downloads here. Yeah. This is the official download java downloads page. Okay, and you can see as of February 2025 is the latest version of JDK is JDK 23. For Windows, you click Windows here, and you can see Oracle JDK for Windows is uh, distributed as compressed archive file or installer, and it's you know, recommended to uh, use installer. So I click the link next to x for installer here. Okay, click this link to start downloading Oracle JDK installer for Java version 23. And you can see next to the download link, there's another link called SHA256. So I'll also open this link. And you can see this is a, a SHA256 checksum of the installer. And it's recommended to verify the integrity of the downloaded file before opening it. Okay, so the download is in progress. Open a new command prompt window, press the uh, start button and type cmd. Then you can see command prompt in the search result here. Okay, this is a command prompt where I can where I can type uh, commands. For example, I type, type Java dash version to check the version of Java, and you see I see the message Java is not recognized because uh, no JDK, no Java development kit installed on this computer okay the download of jdk23 install uh, is complete under downloads directory as you can see here under my username user home downloads okay to verify the integrity of this file in command prompt type cd command to change the current directory to the downloads directory downloads Type there to see the content of the directory, and you can see the installer file JDK23 Windows X64 bin dot XZ here. And on Oracle Java downloads page, you can see the SHA256 checksum value here. Okay, and in command prompt, type this command to get the SHA256 checksum of the downloaded file on Windows type search ut dash hash file and then the file name and then sha256 this command brings the sha256 hash of the downloaded 
ready key installer file and let me compare if both values are identical that means we can simply open running the jdk installer okay both uh, identical so i can uh, double click the jdk installer here yeah, to start the installation process for java development kit version 23 on windows operating system just a moment okay this is a uh, java se development kit setup program up yes click next and by default it uh, will install java under c uh, program price java zdk 23 click next just a moment very quick okay done so i have successfully installed java development kit with oracle zdk version 23 on windows click close and to verify the installation of jdk in this command prompt uh, close this command prompt and uh, open a new one open a new one and type the command java dash version and you see it prints java version 23.0.2 uh, which was released on 2025 january 21st okay that means i have successfully installed jdk on my windows computer and the next step is to uh, download uh, the uh, windows installer for apache netbeans ide so in web browser head over to the official home page of apache netbeans at the url netbeans.org and it will redirect to netbeans.apache.org this is the official home page of apache netbeans ide okay then click the download button you can see the latest release as of 2025 is apache netbeans 24 version 24 click the download button here okay and for windows operating system you can see it is available as a window installer XZ here or uh, zip file and it's recommended to uh, download the Apache NetBeans installer. You can also see a link SHA 512 that contains the SHA 512 checksum of the uh, XZ file for the purpose of verification. So uh, let me click open this link to see the sha 152 check some of the file apache netbeans and click this link to download uh, apache netbeans installer for windows and by default it suggests using this uh, location to download so i click okay the download is in progress and the installer file size is about 500 megabytes okay you see the download of apache netbeans 24 installer for windows has been complete okay and it's recommended to verify this uh, installer file before running it so in folder okay you see this is the installer xz file for apache netbeans also under win downloads uh, folder and to verify switch to command prompt and you can see change the current directory to my user home directory downloads and you can see the file here and similarly type the command cert ut dash hash file and then the file name and then sha one two uh, five one two and it prints the SHA 512 checksum of the downloaded file and let me check starting with 192.5 ending with 464.8d okay both are identical that means i can safely uh, run the installer for apache netbeans ide so i can 
open here and double click yeah to launch the uh, setup program for Apache NetBeans IDE okay you see the Apache NetBeans IDE installer appears okay you can see yeah by default it will install based IDE in Java SE Java EE HTML5 JavaScript and PHP support but I want to develop only Java applications so I click customize installation and uncheck PHP to install only uh, development tools for Java and web okay and click next and check to accept the terms next it will install Apache NetBeans IDE to uh, program files folder and it uh, detects uh, JDK Java 23 install as this path you see okay good and click next okay and click install to start the installation process of Apache NetBeans IDE it will take longer than installation of JDK Okay, installation completed successfully for Apache NetBeans IDE. Click finish. And to open to launch the uh, newly installed Apache NetBeans IDE, you can see on the desktop it uh, put the shortcut to uh, Apache NetBeans IDE version 24. Yeah, or you can also press the start button and type NetBeans and you can see Apache NetBeans IDE version uh, 24 appears in the search result here okay let me double click the icon on desktop to launch Apache NetBeans IDE 24 here we go okay this is the first time I use NetBeans IDE and click help about to check the version details. You can see version Apache NetBeans IDE is version 24 and Java version is 23. And you can see user directory, catch directory, and so on. Click close. And to start uh, Java programming, it's uh, very common to create a new uh, kind of Hello World program. So click the new project button here or you can go to menu file new project here new project okay and by default choose java with maven java application click next it's the first time i start the ide the ide so it uh, takes time okay and enter the details for the project such as project name hello world and project location by default it is under my documents folder netbeans project group id for example net.codejava package hello world version default is 1.0 snapshot click finish uh, very simple and it uh, will create a main class with uh, a system that are not print line statement to print hello world text uh, to the standard console here yeah. as you can see and we can run this program right away click the run button here yeah. it uh, will build the application using maven first and then run it you see building from uh, pom.xml okay and now Okay, and now you see it prints hello world. Yeah, view success. This is a message, a view a success message from Maven. You can change the text here. Type again hello world Java. Save the change and run again. And now you can see it runs faster the second time it runs faster hello world java 
So that's how to install Apache NetBeans IDE version 24 on Windows operating system with Java version 23 and go read and run the first Java program, a kind of Hello World program. I hope you found this uh, video helpful in terms of helping you get started with Java development, Java programming on Windows computer with Apache NetBeans, uh, one of the most popular Java IDEs. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.